So, what's going on, everyone? Here we are for Trash Pro Series Season 4 uh, schedule. Yeah, full blown schedule. So, 14 races, just like Season th 3, for anyone who remembers Season 3. It's been like a year now, so I doubt anyone remembers. But, there's been quite the shakeup. But, let me look at the schedule right quick. It's, uh, it actually, it actually didn't take long for me to throw it around this time because I already had the schedule from Season. I already had the Season 4 schedule made like during the initial signups from a year ago. But this time around, I, yesterday or day before that, I made some changes. A lot of changes, especially with the lineup, the current lineup we have now of drivers. So with that, let's get to it right quick. All right, so the first race, season opener is going to be at Daytona. Yeah, for the first time in the Tracks Pro Series history, season opener is not at Hillside. Instead, it's going to be at Daytona Beach, Florida. Yeah, I don't know, quite the track already. I don't have to explain anything. It's Daytona. 35 drivers here, or even more, depending on like if anyone signs up between here and wherever. So that'll be interesting, quite a spectacle to see. Yeah, instead of Hillside being a season opener, it's gonna be the second race of the season, which uh, will be interesting. It's always been a season opener. It's always had quite the impact the start of the season. But anyways, race three is gonna be at Phoenix Raceway now. People have had their feelings of Phoenix in this series and the Iron Warrior series, but mainly this series in particular. But trust me, the I and I has been adjusted, so things aren't as crazy. So we can actually get some racing in. Race four is going to be at the Rock, Rockingham Speedway or North Carolina Speedway, whatever you want to call it. But I know it as Rockingham Speedway. As a that's quite the race. It's always been fairly chaotic, just like Phoenix. Not as bad, but still really chaotic. So. Hopefully, you know, it'll be quite the watch. Bristol Dirt Doubleheader. It is, yeah, good old Bristol Doubleheader, as always. Just like the Iron War Series gets one. Which, actually, uh, Trash Pro Series had Bristol Dirt Doubleheader in Season 3. Which, I don't remember how that went. I have to look back at it. But, yeah, here we are with Season 4. Uh, the Bristol Dirt Doubleheader, which should be interesting. It's not going to be heat. But, you know, some uh, dirt track ringers are encouraged. In a sense, but there might be a top 35 for one place for that one. Who knows? Now, race seven is going to be at Charlotte Speedway. Now, Charlotte was on the season three schedule twice. They got two dates on season three, but this time just one. Keeping it simple for this one, which should be interesting in itself. And uh, well, let's see how that goes. All right, so this is the first for the series for the first time in, in Trash Pro Series history. They're going to be racing at Nashville Super Speedway. Now, I've always I've always thought of putting on a schedule, but for some reason, never did. But, here it is now. So, should be interesting. No no uh, previous winners to show, because, you know, first time. Alright. Nashville, not Nashville, Kansas for race 9. Uh, as, uh, I think this is the first time they're racing at Kansas, too. See, another first. For some reason, it feels familiar. Maybe it's because of uh, the NG4 Mix Master Series. But nah, this is the first time they're gonna be racing at Kansas. See, so yeah, I guess Charlotte sacrificed a date. I guess uh, sacrificed Charlotte date for Kansas. I think that's what I did. <laughs> Possibly. Now, uh, race ten. Have past couple seasons, so season two and season three. Race ten was always a uh, Traxter Super Mile, which is about uh, basically the endurance race. There was never double points involved, and the same goes for here. It's not gonna be double points, but. Still be interesting, it'll be quite the endurance race, and that will be... Yeah, that's right. This endurance race is going to be at North Wilkesboro. It's going to be, uh, 25... It's going to be 25% race length. It's going to be crazy, folks, so... I don't know. Be interesting. I'd like to get some nice, uh, you know, classic schemes in there. Maybe Throwback Weekend, who knows. That might be something to do. <laughs> A little throw, Throwback Spectacle. Not really official, but you know that might that would be the theme for this one, you know. Now for the final four races of the season, they're all going to be re repeat races from before, except for one of them, which we'll get to in a minute. But we are back at the Rock for uh, race eleven. Race twelve, also for the first time ever, is Talladega. Now, just like Daytona, Talladega in itself is self-explanatory. The chaos that goes on in this track. 
There's a plate package. I don't know how to plate packages for Chess Pro Series. Uh, there's gonna be some, there's gonna have to be some, ah, there's gonna have to be some testing on that before the season starts. Now for race 13, the penultimate race of Chess Pro Series 4. Which, by the way, something that's always remained constant in this series that well is that uh, Phoenix is always the second to last race of the season. As uh, the, like, honestly, the penultimate Phoenix race always tends to be the most chaotic. Especially with the most iconic one being season two, in my opinion, with how like with how that went. Anyways, here is the finale. So, anyways, as always, the finale for Travis Pro Series season will be at Hillside, just like always. So, Hillside still got two dates, so should be interesting. As uh, my goodness. Uh, except it's gonna be a night race, so the season's gonna end under the lights at Hillside. But yeah, that is about it. Now, very quick, let me look at all the time wins list here. I think which I think is just a six drivers here after season three. All time wins list. So basically Wyatt P has the most wins with six. Gavin Beers has five. McMahon, Walker, and NAF tie for third all time with four each. And LJ Toledo has three wins. Now, most uh, active lit current active list, the guy with the most wins is Louis Rodriguez with Two from season three, because this is gonna be sophomore season for Louis Rodriguez. But yeah, we'll get to the signups in a minute. Yeah, uh, and Jazz Lee got two from season one and hasn't won since. And Josh Lee only has one win, and that was from the Michigan race in season two. So, yeah, as sense now, the field is essentially wide open for the wins, even though like uh, yeah, Jared Perez has won two, and Waters from season three. So yeah, uh, it's essentially wins essentially wide open. But anyways, we get to uh, starting lineup soon. Other than that, yeah, that's about it. 